Hi, this is Bela from the Writer's Territory and in this video we will have a look at how the beatboard works in Final Draft 11. The beatboard in Final Draft 11 is basically a canvas where you can put different kinds of information as cards in order to have a place apart from your script to store that information. This can be useful for a whole number of things, above all for outlining and research. Let's have a look at how it works. Open up Final Draft and click on the Views drop-down menu in the top left corner. Select Beatboard. Now you see an empty space where you can put all your beats. To create a new beat, double-click anywhere you want. Every beat has a title and a body. If you right-click on the beat, Final Draft gives you a couple of additional options like color, alignment, or you can convert the beat into a structure point. We'll take a look at what that is in a second. Now, the beat board ties in directly with your story map. You should see the story map at the top of your window. It's a bar with some numbers, usually from 1 to 120. Take the beat that you just created and pull it to any place in the story map that you like. Final Draft 11 creates a diamond-shaped marker at that point where you let it go. That marker has the same color as the beat itself. The beat is now connected to a certain page on the story map. You can see the page number also in the top right corner of your beat. If you want to break that connection, right-click on the marker and choose Remove or right-click on the page number in your beat and click on Remove Page Goal. If you right-click on the beatboard canvas instead of double-clicking, you get a menu where you can also import images as beats. Now let's have a look at structure points. Right-click on the empty canvas and choose New Structure Point. Structure points also have a title and a body. You can also give them a color, just like with the beats. If you take that structure point and pull it onto the story map, you will see that it is different from a beat in so far as it has a different icon. So you can differentiate one from another. So you could, for example, use structure points for the broader structure in your script, whereas beats can be all kinds of things you want to track in your story. Again, if you want to break that link between the structure point and the page number, right-click on the structure point or right-click on the page goal in the structure point on the beat board. If you want to see a more sophisticated and advanced version of how you can use the beat board and uh, the story map with many cards and a couple of images, Final Draft 11 has included a sample script. In order to access that, go to Help, Sample Scripts and choose one of these. 